The goal is to own factories. So, as in, when you talk uh, about the connection, should we really believe that uh, in this business or in the life, uh, do we have those people who are near us or we should not believe those people much? Should we believe the people who are near us, like connection, that uh, I need someone to lift me somewhere, oh, it's just to be that, that's, you? And, uh, that, that's a funny question <laughs> and that's really good that you ask or people from around the world might be asking themselves that uh, is anyone who's around me my connection? Yes, they're in your connection, but in which way? You have to clarify it. That's why you have to have a way where you are going. For me, I knew where I was going. I was going into making factories. Yeah. That's where I'm, I'm towarding. So the connection that I'm searching is not these, uh, these uh, street people. They are not uh, the, the people who work in, uh, in, 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 in any other sectors. They are the people who work in the same... Uh, business or who are in the same business that I need. So any person who's around you is not your connection. They are just your friends. You have to clarify or differentiate between a friend or a partner friend. There is a partner friend and there is a just a friend. And uh, through that, that's where you can gain a partner in, in, in career, which might be a partner for life, which might be the real connection. But the real connection must be built. And it's not good it's good to have a friend you work with, but it's not that good to put them into your life. The person who's for the business, they better stay there. And if you bring your friends into your business, you might have to decide one. Either you keep it up on friendship or you keep it up on, on, on business, which will give you no choice. So the connection or any person that you, who is next to you, it's not if you see that they are working toward your dream or if they're helping you to achieve your dream or working in your business, yes, that's your good connection. But if not, then find those who can. Then find those uh, real connection who's into your factory. I'll give you an example on myself. When I was starting my business, I needed to venture into business or factories or production. So, but I was the director, I was the model, I was just the, the star, just on the cameras. I wasn't knowing how we like produce even like a biscuit, even like a small product. So it ended up when I went, I went to them to encourage them to work with me in marketing. But my goal was into sales because I knew what I needed, which was sales. I'll come back on it again. Mm. So sales, when I went there, they gave me the product to, to advertise. But again, I had to sell it because it's where I was getting the money directly. And then that's when I started to make my connection. And I'm still correcting it. Anyone yes, can hear uh, me. Uh, when, when you talk of marketing, marketing is all about like uh, 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 to sell something and make something popular, like a product to make it popular. So I wanted to know how that lifestyle we're in at the first of the cameras and what. How did it help you to make it in this day business life that you're in? Thank you. Uh, for marketing, for you, you say that it's making something famous, but that's not true. Uh, the, the, the marketing, we have different categories of marketing. Yes. There is a, a international or, or, or uh, you know, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola use international marketing. International marketing, it's marketing the product on global scale, on international way. So there is e-marketing or, 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 or social media marketing, yeah. where you just see something pop up on your podcast. So it all depends. So there is door-to-door -door marketing. Door-to-door -door marketing, it's those type of marketing, like those Whitney, like the, the Jehovah, Jehovah Witness they use by knocking on your door, come to preach you. That's marketing in an indirect way, even if it's for God. Yeah. There is these people who work in insurance. They can come and knock on your house that we are selling this and this. So door-to-door -door marketing is those direct marketing to the customers. So there is different, a lot of different uh, types of marketing. There is chat, there is everywhere you can find marketing. So our goal, like me, it's not making the product famous. No, it's gaining or selling the product, which will be the end of the result, which is gaining the money direct to the clients. Mm -hmm. So 
in my marketing i don't need to go on tv if i see that necessary it all depends with what types of the client what the type of this product which category is it which position is it on which uh, like what uh, stage are we on what the our competitors how big do we want to go how big is our production capacity and how big is our scale how big is our 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 product or how big is even our customers yeah. so if you see that our customers are big and our competition is hard there you will need uh, to have strategies on marketing toward to how you are going to win your so as, uh, as in this uh, we can say e global or worldwide so what can you focus on that let me make the e-marketing mm -hmm. so not like any other marketing door to door and what uh, uh, so as what? i was telling you it mm -hmm. all depend on the on the on the product that mm -hmm. we have uh so far uh we we have in uh, sugar uh, mm -hmm. we have around uh, 32 tons that's one container but uh, from brazil and we are going to receive another one too so in marketing there is or in sales there is two ways that we use in sales there is descending and ascending so in descending marketing or sales way we use it's it's having a product yes from the the factory or from the someone who's importing in the country and then we use the wholesalers to convince their their local sellers to buy from our factory that's descending but there is another strategy which is called ascending. Yeah. Ascending, it's having a, a, a product which is ready in the stock or importer can be having it in the stock or, or, or factory. Like for us, we have it in the stock in Marie, in, in special economic zone. But uh, other, other factories can be having a stock there. And then you do the big marketing on TVs. That's what we call commercials and big uh, advertisement campaigns. So it end up when the local wholesale, the, the customers, the local people from the home, the, 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 the house boy or anyone who reads and who watch TV or who can read the newspaper, who can see it on, even on the phone. Mm. And then they end up finding the product. They went on the shop to ask for the product. The shop doesn't have it. They go to, on their wholesalers to ask for it. And then the wholesalers find who's importing it or who's making it so that he can buy it. Yeah. So those are two ways of, of, of sales and two ways of marketing that we use, ascending and descending. So in ascending, that's where the product known by the, the, the customer, but it's not in the stock. And then the stock must find it where are we going to get it. And then in descending, it's having the stock, giving it to the, to the wholesalers, wholesalers give it to the other local wholesalers. So those are two types of the the the, the yes. of the, the sales and marketing, yes. and uh, which you choose which ones works best, uh, and uh, it's all begin like that. So it's all depend on the product. There is product like you can't sell, you can't advertise a, a house of two hundred million on Facebook or or in, 